Hi, this video is going to help you how to play sound in E3 application. Usually, um, you will have, you will need to play sound when the alarm occurs. So, here I made a example. This example has a tag value and also the alarm state. And when the tag value is over, is greater than 70, the alarm state will be true. It means that the alarm is triggered. So I make the tag value run. So the tag value now is 81. This is greater than 70. So the alarm state is true. Okay? And I can reset it. So when I reset it, the tag value is 0 and it means that the alarm is out so here is a daytime out so I can uh, remove this alarm by acknowledge it okay so I need to go back to studio and uh, show you how to uh, play sound when alarm occurs so I am going to viewer and uh, here down to the script tab and I need to create a new event so click and I will name it the events with, um, on alarm and I need to fill the property or expression okay so let's choose regarding the alarm we need to choose the alarm server so this one is the alarm server and there are many properties of it I need to use the active uh, uh, active alarms and also active and alarms so what is active alarms active alarms is the total amount of active alarms in an application and active and alarm is the total amount of unacknowledged alarm in an application it means that this is the alarm that need to be acknowledged so I need the combination of these two alarms Be why? because when usually the case is that the alarm happens you need to um, you need to play sound and when the user acknowledge the alarm the sound should be stop it so I need the combination of active alarms and also active and alarms and you can notice that the alarms um, the property active alarms and also active and alarms are all um, are number it means that it is uh, integer so how to decide if there is alarm we can use if the property is greater than zero or not and also it is just one condition we need another we need the active and alarms so when the active alarms is greater than zero and active and uh, and act alarm greater than zero so it, um, the combination of these two conditions will help us to uh, play sound and disable sound. Okay, so just test. So we need to um, trigger the event whenever the property or expression is true. And we need to repeat the event. So this event will be repeated every one second okay so I have the event now I need to add script okay and open the app browser and go to viewer in the viewer there is a method called play sound 